When talking about volume one of the light novel series known as So I'm a Spider, So What, one of the things that I really love about this particular series is, again, being an isekai, I love my isekais, but also the general change in its theme. Instead of being focused on one character, it is focused on a class. And it's not straight away, you know, just showing all the classmates in one going, going, oh, look, they're all together and they're all working together, like some other isekais have done, but it's showing that they are fragmented only some have been found some are communicating some are elsewhere and the teachers there as well and some of them don't see eye to eye and there's some interesting sort of chemistry between them because already from the first volume you can tell there's a little bit of sort of situation of like one of the characters feeling bad and feeling they're being punished because of course they bullied another student and they're worried that that student is somewhere in danger and the teacher's looking for other students and trying to piece things together and there are still some that are unknown and i really do like where the story is going and to be honest, it starts off a bit slow. It's it's kind of getting all the pieces of the cogwheel all in motion. And particularly, it focuses on a couple of the students with the teacher. And then, of course, focusing on our lovely little spider. And most of the focus does go on the spider and a lot of the leveling that the spider does. A lot of different monsters that they defeat, a lot of different powers that they gain. And I'm not going to go into all the itty gritties of what the spider does accomplish for all its different powers. Because there's a lot that it ends up accomplishing. But I will definitely say it's very interesting to see its slow, gradual build up in power. And I really do thoroughly enjoy that step by step by step motion of it accomplishing each individual goal. Some of the problem solving and also some of the other different occurring issues. And also it being mindful that it is what that if it gets too big it won't be able to go to certain areas it's trying to find its way out and it has also wondered what is outside there what will it discover of course you know there's many different obstacles that our lovely little spider is going to be facing and they have you know faced many trials but the one thing that really kind of stood out to me is how lonely they are in this location and how they've been dealt a really bad hand in, in that sense of you know instead of being reincarnated as you know a magical girl or some hero they've been reincarnated as a spider and been dealt a very rough hand but the reason why i bring that up is also another character in the story has been reincarnated as a different creature as well sort of like a little mini dragon per se as i call it and they've also felt that they've been dealt a rough hand and they felt that they've been punished a little bit for some of their past transgressions which is why it kind of gets bringed up that they're worried about other classmates because obviously some of them have worked out that of course the entire class has been teleported and the teacher is trying to find them and work out where they all are and i've got to say the teacher has done a pretty good job but as the teacher also noted a lot of them were kind of transported all to the same location as humans or other races so some of them were really easy to find because they were all kind of like bundled together while some of them have been fragmented and so it's kind of one of those where it's like oh i found the bulk of them but now there's these stragglers that they've got to find so i'm very interested to see where the story goes from that point onwards but as i mentioned before being lonely in that cave is definitely it's a trial in itself, Is on top of the fact that they're trying to level, they're trying to gain new skills, they're trying to be smart about how they go about how they're leveling, making sure that they survive, and of course, having to survive on eating some pretty yucky things. Being alone in there is definitely something that I feel like would weigh on our lovely MC in the cave itself, our spider MC. And I do kind of feel like that might be something that might come up later on in the light novels, but I do also wonder how long it will take for them to actually get out of that cave itself and where that will lead and when they will actually meet their first class mate and who will it be and will it be a warm reception because of course them being a spider they could be mistaken as an enemy. And there's definitely a lot of different variables that could end up happening. But again, not too much really happens in the actual light novel other than just like a lot of character building, a lot of world building. But it definitely focuses on two groups right now. And I do feel like it's going to spread out and there's going to be a lot of new interesting characters added and a lot more character building and level building and power building and all that kind of jizz jazz. So I definitely really enjoy the light novel series and I'm definitely looking forward to reading volume two but also the, compared to the actual anime as well the anime does have some stuff missing especially some of like the exacts of how some of the classmates meet up particularly of course a particular classmate that ends up getting this little mini dragon exactly how that event plays out is not in the anime it more just kind of has them together and that's it 
it makes sense why the anime is skipping over some parts of it because I think they want to kind of get to sort of the meat and potato and they don't feel like they need every little itty gritty detail but there is definitely some things that I do feel like they might touch up on later as well there's definitely a lot of mysteries in it as well and I'm very curious to see where it goes I do feel like this is going to be one of those where as the story unfolds there's going to be definitely a lot of moments where I'm going to be kind of like piecing a lot of puzzles together because there's a lot of interesting components that I'm already wondering about. So I'm definitely enjoying it so far. Definitely love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of the anime? What do you think of the light novels? There is also the manga as well, but of course I'm reading the light novels because that is the main source material. Also, another thing to also touch on is of course the transformation of some of the classmates. I touched on it a little bit before, but of course one's been turned into a spider, one's been turned into a mini dragon, but one also got a gender swap. And one of the things that I thought was interesting about this person named Katie now that's been changed into a female that used to be male in the previous life is that of course they've met one of their friends that is still male has been turned into sort of this valiant hero and how they've kind of become very close friends and then they've kind of talked about how they were going to get married to try and fight off all of the sort of the politics a lot of the stuff holding them back and using that as a way to kind of escape some of those issues i do also wonder where the teacher side of thing is going to go because the teacher has turned into a young elf apparently there's some people that are down where her people are sort of seeking refuge i'm very interested to see where the teacher component goes i don't know i get the feeling the teacher will be more prevalent in the story with these particular students especially with the fact that of course they're going to an academy now i'm very fascinated i really like where the story is going i really like the fact that again it's not all just like the students have been all transported as you know valiant heroes and they're working together what i like is how they've been sort of split and i do kind of have this theory and I, I get the feeling that this will most likely happen but again it's just kind of my theory before I get into the later online novels is that there is going to be some conflicts between some of the students and some are going to be on sort of like one faction while some are going to be on another faction and they're going to end up having to fight each other I feel like that is something that is going to happen later on in the light novels I'm kind of just throwing my own theories out there because again I haven't read anything I haven't spoiled myself I've been really lucky but it is one of those theories that I have is that there is going to be some internal conflict later on where students are going to end up finding each other, which is why I feel like our lovely spider MC is going to come out of this cave and come into this world where she's going to end up meeting a lot of her students and some of them aren't going to be happy to see her and some of them are. But also, some of them are also going to be fighting amongst each other. And I do wonder if the teacher is going to struggle with that because she's trying to keep everyone safe, bring them all together. And I feel like that's not going to end up working out the way the teacher plans to. Again, it's a very interesting sort of start to the volume. I'm very intrigued to see where the story goes from this point onwards. Again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts about it? But again, I definitely am excited to read volume two and see more of the anime as well and how the anime portrays it. But again, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more anime content, and I will see you beautiful nerds in the next video.